Hello, this is Harumi. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you a simple way to create a ripple in After Effects. Let's get started! First, I will import the file. Go here, then right click, go to Import, File, select the file, and import as Composition Retain Layer Size. Here we have a new composition which has everything I just imported. Now we are going to make a circle. It is going to look like a ripple. Let's name it the ripple 01 and make sure that the anchor point is in the center of the circle. Drag this layer right behind the layer of Chibi-chan. We do not want to show the half of the ripple behind her. Next, we are going to add the scale keyframes to make it look like the ripple is expanding. Let's scale up and down over the 3 seconds like this. Then, add an opacity keyframes. It starts at the zero opacity and also ends at the zero opacity. Around here, let's set it to 100%. And here, set it to 29%. It looks like the ripple is fading away. Now we add the stroke keyframes to change the look of our ripple. In 3 seconds, we scale down 3. Close the layer. Let's duplicate the layer to make another ripple. This new ripple comes after the first one, so let's slide it a little bit and it starts right after the first one shows up. Need to distinguish it from the first one. Let's scale it smaller and change the stroke with 2, 5. Let's add one last ripple. Duplicate the layer and now we are going to adjust our last ripple. Let's slide the layer a little bit and change the scale to make it a little bit smaller. Also set the stroke with 2, 2. Now we add an adjustment layer. We want to make a weekly ripple, so let's add a turbulent displace effect. Set amount to 20 and size to 10. Let's change the duration. Right click an open composition setting and set duration to 4 seconds. Let's take a look and adjust the ripples. The smallest ripple is a little big, so I want to make it a little smaller. Also, set the stroke size to 1 and 0 on the first and the last keyframe. Now close all layers and select the repo layers and the adjustment layer. And then let's pre-compose them. After name the repo, let's duplicate it. We are going to make the shadow of the repo. Lock the key and move the new layer under the ripple. Add the hue saturation effect. Set lightness to minus 63 and opacity to 20%. Then we add the first box blur effect. Blur radius to 3 so that shadow edge is blur. Now we select the two layers and duplicate to make the exactly the same ripple and the shadow for the other. 
lock these two layers and slide the new layers to Akiba-chan. All we need to do is scale down and set the position right under Akiba-chan's leg. Congratulations! We are done making Ripple! Yay! Bonus! Now I am going to add some movement to the isolo and the fish. Let's make the eye blink. Add the scale keyframes at 1 second and around 3 seconds for 100%. In the middle, set the scale to 30%. It looks a little slow, so let's move the keyframe close to each other. Select all keyframes and hit F9. Now we do the same to Akiba-chan. We are going to add some movement to the body. Select the body and the eye layers and the create pre-compose. Name Chibi-chan. We also do the same to the other. Select the body and eyes and create precompose. Name Akiba-chan. Let's hide all of the other layer except Chibi-chan. Now we are going to use the puppet pen tool. Create two points on each leg and one point on the head. Grab the head and move right and left. At keyframe 0, move her head a little left. Copy this position and then place it two more times in the middle and the end of the timeline. In between these keyframes, add keyframes for when she moves a little bit to the right. Select all keyframes and hit F9. Close the layer and now let's do the same to Akiba-chan. Create two points on each leg and one point on the head. Add keyframe 0, last and the middle for head left. And in between these, add keyframes for moving the right head. Copy and paste, select all keyframes and hit F9. Now close the layer and lock these layers. Let's make a wiggle effect without adding keyframes. Let's start with the heart bubble. Open the position property. Hold the Alt key and click on the position stopwatch to bring up the expression editor. Type wiggle or select it from the drop down. Set the wiggle parame <laughs> parameters to 2 and 3. Now the bubble is wiggling. Let's do the other bubbles and the two fishes. I'm going to speed up a little bit. The fish bubbles should be wiggling like the fish. So let's parent them to the fish. In the end, we are going to add some shadows for the fish. Select the Elpis tool and create a small circle under the fish. Pick grey at the color. And set opacity to 40%. Bring the layer under the fish and parent it to the fish. Let's duplicate it and set it under the other fish. And parent the layer to the fish also. Let's take a look. Yay! We are done! 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye bye.